It's day 135. Where is the prophet going to stay? Kaswa was walking slowly now on the streets of Medina. She was carrying the prophet with pride and was trying not to cause him hurt or discomfort. As he passed by, the owner of each house tried to stop him, saying, O oh, Messenger of Allah, please come to our house, stay with us. He was the prophet of mercy. He didn't want to hurt anyone's feelings. He answered each time, Let there be peace with you. May Allah bless you. Open the way for the camel. Let her go wherever she wishes. I am sure she has been shown where she is to go. All eyes were on Kaswa. Kaswa was passing by exactly the same places where the messenger had stayed with his mother when he was little. There was much noise from the many invitations being called out from the houses. But still, Kaswa was continuing the little trip. Finally, she knelt down in an empty plot of land where fresh dates were usually left to dry. Occupants of that quarter were called the children of Najjar. The Banu Najjar were the relatives of the Prophet's mother, Amina. All the children on the street screamed with joy. Lovely little girls in their decorated dresses were playing their tambourines and singing. We are the daughters of the children of Najjar. How wonderful it is to be in this neighborhood. The Prophet looked at them smiling. This also pleased him. Jibril had guided Kaswa. While she was moving her beautiful neck from side to side near the ground, the Prophet dismounted her and said, Insha'Allah, this is the place where we are going to stay. The Prophet would never promise or plan anything without saying, Insha'Allah, God willing. This meant that if he wanted to do something, he could do it only with the permission of Allah.